The general rule of thumb when setting up a V-Car toolpath is to set your max depth to stock bottom or the thickness of your material. This allows the program to determine the max depth it will carve. Using the specification of the V-bit, such as the angle, and also the distance of the vector lines of your design, the program will calculate and determine how deep it needs to carve so that the V-bit carves deep enough until both edges of the vectors of your design are touched by the edges of the V-bit. Going back to the diagram, the red dots are the edges of the vectors or the edges of the letter that we just saw. So let's assume that it is the letter L, for example. Since the 90 degree V-bit is the widest, it has the shallowest cut because it did not have to carve as deep for the edges of the V-bit to meet the edges of the vector. As we progress down to the 30 degree V-bit, the V-bit has to carve deeper to allow for the edges of the V-bit to meet the edges of the vector. The takeaway here is that the angle of the V-bit determines the depth of the cut. Make sure to subscribe for more CNC tips just like this, and I'll see you on the next one.